Hey guys, welcome! Welcome everyone to my new stream. Mm, Murders on the Yangtze River is the game we're gonna play today. And we played it yesterday. And let me tell you friends, this game is golden. This is... Well, um, like... Like uh, reading greatest book but you are in the center of uh, everything so it's pretty exciting you know it reminds me of the books of Sherlock Holmes um, anyway the game is great and um, we had a lot of fun yesterday let's uh, continue today with uh, one more case case number three was the next one and uh, now I'm definitely sure that uh, I'm gonna continue playing this game when it gets released full in uh, English because just so you know only demonstration demo version is uh, translated we have to wait for a complete package all right without uh, further ado let's uh, jump into Another case. Oh, that was kind of... Man, that was loud. Oh yeah, we did found another body in uh, this uh, young guy closet oh yeah and we proceeded to case number three Sorry. let me get it down Okay, this was the scene we ended up the stream yesterday. So let me continue. In the history of Wu and Yu, uh, there are records of uh, Gan, Jiang, and Mo Yi's secret to steel making. The transformation of spirit and matter requires human sacrifice. No. It's like full metal alchemists. I once believed that that was only a legend nearly 3000 years ago. Yet history chose to repeat itself once more. <coughs> the haunted furnace. All right, all right. I know, I know. Just wanna. Okay, it seems I cannot navigate to main menu yet. All right. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, so this is still really, really loud. Okay, sorry for that. Now this should be all better. Okay. You two gentlemen must be detectives. Shipmaster who recommended. I am Edgar Lee, the deputy administrator of Hangyang Iron Works. Konnichiwa. I am uh, John Shen. This is my assistant Frankie. Please tell me the curse of events of this incident, your honor. Honor? This morning, Foreman Ting accidentally fell into the ladle and caused an explosion. The 
It sounds like an accident. Was something wrong? When he fell into the ladle, two workers witnessed the entire process. They both claimed that he appeared out of thin air at the second floor furnace area. Huh? Appeared out of thin air? That's right, no one saw him go up. But in the blink of an eye, he was just standing there. It caused mass panic because rumors of ghosts are beginning to spread among the workers. Excuse me. That is indi indeed particularly odd. The situation is getting out of control, any more delay could cause more troubles. I hope you can uncover the truth today so that we can calm the workers and resume the production. Don't worry and leave it to us, Mr. Deputy Administrator. John is a professional. Thank you for your troubles. I still have matters to attend to, so please excuse me. Huh? I didn't get to ask him what were the exact rumors yet. We should go to the site of the incident first to take a look. Molten steel is flowing out from the outlet. What a grand sight! You know about the statues? Yeah, what about it? They got something to do with all things death. That's interesting rumor. Auntie Wu, you're here as well. The officials said that something terrible happened here and asked me to come examine the body. I rushed over here the second I arrived. I haven't even had the time to have lunch yet. But auntie, can you still examine the body after it falls into a furnace? <coughs> What's there to examine? He's all ashes now. Don't have any godlike abilities to help me distinguish a corpse from slag. Yeah, even if Auntie was the reincarnation of Song Chi, it is still impossible. At least you get the point, unlike them. So it seems like you two are overseeing this matter as well. That is correct, Auntie. Do you have any information on this case? The deceased is called David, David Ting. He is 45 years old and the foreman of the factory floor. As for the cause of his incident, lots of sayings, but most of them can't be taken seriously. Auntie, have you heard the rumors too? Come on, tell me. Kiddo, why are you so interested in chasing shadows? Without an autopsy, it'll be even more difficult to uncover the truth. You're right, auntie. He fell from the second floor, so you should go there. No need to waste your time here. Auntie who? Is the corpse mixed with the slag? Still thinking about an autopsy? If you could separate them, I'll examine the body for you. Seems that we will not be able to obtain any clues from the corpse this time. 
barrier. Why is this area sealed off by ropes? Someone is protecting the scene by using the ropes as a boundary line. Such a careful and professional arrangement must have been the work of Auntie Vu. Stop leaking my boots. It was already like this when I got here. Huh? Who could it have been? This is ladle number two. One that four men fell into. The ladles are two meters tall and can hold up to 30 tons of molten steel at a time. New clue. Towering at a height of more than two meters, it can hold 30 tons of molten steel at a time. John will reach the site of the incident when we go up from here. Hopefully all the crucial evidence will still be there. I knew something was wrong with the foreman. You play with fire, you get bumped. Uh -huh. No one likes him anyway. Frankie, what is the matter? Look, there are scorch marks all over the stairs. The explosion was caused by the incident. Hmm. Stairs. This is more like a ladder. And okay. These are like burning scorch marks. Even the stairs were affected. The splash range must have been quite wide. This means that no one could approach these stairs for quite a while after explosion. We should investigate the site of incident before we go here. I'm trying to go there. Okay. Alright. Welcome. Viewer on YouTube. Lever. Let's see. Frankie, is this lever used to open molten steel outlet? That's right. This is a very tactful design. How is that so? Look, this lever is really long. You have to stand here to open the outlet shutter. In order to minimize burns, the lever was designed to be very long so that the operator could only open the outlet shutter from afar. It is designed in this way to prevent the workers from getting burns. That's right, the molten steel can reach temperature of staggering whoa, 1700 Celsius. Once the shutter is opened, the temperature close by rises rapidly. It's much safer to open the furnace from such a distance. This is where Foreman Ting's falling incident took place. Here could see workers in the metal casting area on the opposite platform. You can also see the ladle directly below. It's ginormous, like a well. When the incident happened, the well was filled with red-hot molten steel. It sure would have looked like the entrance to hell. No, this is the entrance leading to the truth. Let's begin investigating.
Okay, let's begin. So we can see some well grayish white powder underneath the railing. Upon closer examination, these are small particles that have lingered lingering pungent smell. I need to check this word, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it means like spicy or not spicy, like, uh, well, uh, characteristic, like unique, quite uh, specific to something. Pun pungent smell. All right. Frankie, do you know what this is? Huh? I can't think of anything right now, but it must be a residue of something that was burned. Okay. Okay, um... Okay. Although there are scorch marks on the molten steel outlet shutter, it's still intact. It seems like a furnace explosion accident didn't occur at the time. What? This is the molten steel basin. Once the shutter is open, molten steel of uh, 1600 Celsius flows through here into the ladle. When that happens, the temperature close by will be extremely hot. This is the ladle that Foreman Ting fell into. It is now empty. Huh? Where did the molten steel go? Perhaps the workers may know something about this. Hmm, what should we investigate now? I see, well, some stains here. No, we can't click on it. Huh. A section of the railing next to the molten steel outlet is missing. Yeah. You're right. Judging from the structure, there should be a movable crossbar here. This design makes it more convenient to clean the molten steel outlet. But where did the crossbar go? Could it be that it fell into the ladle? This deta detail is quite suspicious. Yeah, because here it is intact. What should we investigate next? Investigated this, this and this. Well. Uh, to be honest, it's hard to tell what. What else? We need one more. We already had that. We had this, we had this. Oh, there are scorch marks all over the railings. Foreman Ting's fall caused an explosion. Frankie, although quite a few people have mentioned the sound, 
of an explosion on site, could it be possible that the explosion occurred first, then Ting fell into molten steel after? The human body contains a lot of water. When water meets molten steel, it will vaporize and its volume will expand a thousand times. So if a person were to fall into molten steel, it is bound to invoke an explosion. Then if the explosion occurred first and then Ting fell after, there would have been two explosions. However, the workers only saw one explosion. It must have been caused by Ting's fall. 100% correct. Investigation completed. Of the site. <coughs> John, this is the charging area behind the furnaces. This worker, the worker, workers working here should probably know something, right? Furnace Charger Mister, I am John Shen. I was entrusted to investigate Foreman Ting's falling incident. Could I have a moment of your time? Don't call me Mister, I ain't used to do to that. I'm just a furnace charger. My name's Colton D. You can call me Call. Ask all you want. Gives me time to rest a bit. Call. What are you mainly responsible for? I am responsible for charging the furnace. I'm also in charge of opening and closing the outlet. Does charging the furnace mean to add fuel to the furnace? Not fuel, but bulk materials. Man, what the hell. I'm an engineer, but... Alright, aluminium granules, steel barrel, open the hair furnace. Slack, steel ingot, to the rolling mill. Man, guys, let me tell you, we were doing wrong things in Power World. This is correct recipe here. Probably. Fluorite, limestone, iron ore, steel scrap, magne, magnes, ore, silica sand. All of this might be thrown into the open hearth furnace if I got it right and it's being mixed with molten iron is that right yeah that would mean we get steel out of this okay makes sense if you want the steel to be of high purity you need to add bulk material in every now and then. Are there any other workers on the second floor platform? There are a few helpers, but last night was just a trial production. I didn't ask them to come. It takes 8 hours to burn a furnace of steel, so it is enough for me to handle alone. You don't look so well, Cole. Haven't you rested? I just pulled an all-nighter last night. I was going to rest today, but then the incident. Those punks don't have the guts to work, so they are just grabbing onto me. 
Once we get to the bottom of this, you'll be able to take a break. Take a break? That's just like looking forward to seeing the moon on New Year's Eve. Don't count on it. Ask all you want, gives me time to rest. Foreman Ting. What kind of person was he? He's a stubborn, one track minded guy who's not so popular. He's so obsessed with steel technology that he'd even forget to pay our wages. Ever since he started worshipping the gods, he became even less human. He even provoked. Provoked? What? Never mind. There's no point in talking about this since he's already dead. Were you working here when the incident occurred? Mm hmm. I've been busy working here since last night. After pulling an all-nighter, the molten steel in the furnace, I one was finally ready. Once the ladle was filled, I checked the quality of molten steel and closed outlet number one. After that, I came back, started the autoloader and started preparing for the next batch. I was shoveling materials into furnace and I suddenly heard a boom. I saw furnace too emitting smoke. The molten steel splashed everywhere and the railings on fire. All right, that's nice description. I, th I thought it was a furnace explosion, but it wasn't. Someone opened the outlet in advance. How could you be sure that someone else had opened it? The lever was in the buckle, so someone must have done it. Is it possible that you opened it yourself but then forgot about it? No way, I couldn't have opened up Furnace 2 after I just finished working on Furnace 1. After I finished work on Furnace 1, it takes one hour to begin work on Furnace 2. Is this why you think Tink pulled the level lever himself? I don't know, but it could only have been him, right? Through, throughout this process, did you see him? Nope, I didn't see him at all. Actually, I only knew what happened after I heard Dan and others talking about the incident. <coughs> Alright, look at the right side of the screen. Here, this guy looks like the culprit from number one case. Wasn't Dan one of the workers who witnessed the incident? Yeah, I heard him say that thing appeared next to the molten steel out of thin air. Everyone guessing is it was the ghost transportation. All in all, it's very creepy, I tell ya. About the worshipping call, please tell us more about the foreman's worship. We need to have a comprehensive understanding of him. You, you also think his death is related to that statue? Statue? What statue? He must have been possessed to provoke that sort of thing. They all say that it's easy to invite a god, but hard to send one away. 
If you neglect them, you could be possessed by evil spirit or worse. You may get killed. Cole, you still haven't told us what thing was worshipping though. No, I just can't. It's unspeakable. I advise you both to stay far away from the shrine in the office. Alright, at least we know where to look for. Why is this door locked? That door is for the transportation of minerals. An elevator is on the other side. This door is usually locked and only opens when we transport materials. It sounds like this is related to the case. Maybe it's a... Well, we'll see. When was the last time materials were transported up here? Let me think. It should be two days ago. Okay, it seems like we can't go further. I, I finally got to see a charging machine with my own eyes. So this is what the structure of a crown block is like. If we go further, would we be able to go around to the left side of Furnace 1? Molten steel is coming out from there and it's scalding hot. We'd better not go over there. Is this fuel that is piled up here? This is bulk material, mostly lime and fluorite. So we need lime to make steel. Yep, bulk materials are used to separate impurities from the molten steel. there's a big sheet of tarpaulin here so they kept steel scraps prepared for smelting piled underneath here it's well protected can steel scrap be used as raw materials these steel scraps are already quite rusty Steel scraps can be used as raw materials. Kinda knew that. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, crane hook. Frankie. Are these big crane hooks used to transport the ladle? Yep, these are the crane hooks of the bridge crane. It can lift up to 50 tons of load. John, be careful of the molten steel up ahead. I am unable to get any closer due to the heat. Well, so you guys, I think the guy standed here, but lever must be opened from the far, so maybe he, well, had help, or he opened it up and went all the way behind it somehow.
let's see the charging area from this side oh we're back here okay okay so guys you could open the lever go to the charging area then uh, proceed here to the platform and and jump right so okay one person can do it easily so this might have been suicide I knew something was wrong with foreman this guy is definitely suspect After something like this, our wages are being paid early. Huh. How about... We'll keep your mouth shut. Just take the money and go. Samuel Ho. I don't think I've seen this young man before. We're not here to get paid, we're here to investigate the case. Samuel, this is Detective Shen and his assistant Frankie. They are here to investigate the matter of Foreman Ting's falling incident. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you, Yoroshko. No, it's China, I shouldn't. Edmund. I almost forgot this is an important matter. Samuel, please make a deposit for Detective Shen. Your Honor, I cannot accept this for nothing. Detective Shen, I will reward you properly after you find out what exactly happened. That you need not refuse. And Detective Shen. The sooner everything is clear, the less it will cost the ironworks. Detective, it seems that if we don't accept the money, Mr. Lee can't be at ease. Okay, this is so weird. Alright. Silver coins. Administrator Li insisted on giving us coins engraved with the words Guangxu period silver coins made in Hubei province. This is strange. I would never take the money from people like that right in the middle of investigation. The incident is a serious matter. If there's anything you want to know, detective, just ask. Mr. Deputy Administrator, please tell us more about Foreman Ting. He has worked at this ironwork since its initiation. He learned chemical calculation and still making. Also spent time in the laboratory. For the past six months, he has been transferred to the factory floor to work as foreman. Although he was sometimes though, tough, tough and stubborn, he's always been keen on studying steel making. Recently, we imported most advanced Siemens Martin furnace from Germany. He had been researching on a new method of open hearth steel, make, steel making, but he hasn't found the knack for it yet, and the quality of the last batch was less than ideal. The incident is a serious matter. If there's anything you want to know, detective, just ask. 
Mr. Lee, I heard that there was something wrong with the quality of the steel rails. Ah, uh, it's hard to explain. I heard that hardest part of steel making is removing the phosphorus. Fragmentation easy appears in steel with high phosphorus content. Was this the type of problem you were facing? Seems like Frankie knows the ropes. Whatever that means. Indeed. The, due to some reasons, the high quality ores from day were transported to Japan. We only got lower grade ores. The Bessemer converter we originally had can't remove phosphorus effectively. So we spent a large sum of money to import the Siemens Martin furnace from Germany. It really takes the painstaking effort of everyone to make good steel. It's only natural that we treat industrial prosperity as our duty. The incident is a serious matter. If there are if there's anything you want to know, detective, just ask. Mr. Deputy Administrator, where were you when the incident occurred? I was receiving a guest, so I wasn't on the furnace factory floor. When I got there, the fire had already been put out. Fortunately, no further damage was caused. Although the fire was put out, terrifying rumors began to spread. The workers refused to work. Please uncover the truth as soon as possible. The incident... Okay. No more questions, your honor. Steam turbine. The roar of these machines is deafening. Detective, this is the sound of the industry's heartbeat. Why did Mr. Lee make us cast these ingots? Well, these are huge ingots. Keep your mouth shut, someone's coming. Are these ingots made from the molten steel that Ting fell into? That's right, you mister should stay away from this kind of unlucky thing. It will be difficult to deal with later on if the molten steel calls cools down inside the ladle. Even so, we can't use this. The blood and bones of thing is in here. Just think about it gives me the creeps. Just thinking about it gives me creeps. Human body is mainly composed of water and carbon. Its density far less than molten steel. His body won't sink into the molten steel, but float on the surface and flow into the slag tank. So, in all essence, these are just ordinary steel ingots. Then, do you think his soul could be in these ingots? Well, <laughs> we have some philosopher workers here. Will, keep your mouth shut. It's time to get back to work. But Master, I, I am afraid the shrine will unleash its powers again. Please wait. Again? What shrine? You must be deaf and heard me wrong. John and I both heard you. You definitely said it just now. Mister, that's right. It's, it's taboo. 
We are entrusted by Mr. Deputy Administrator to investigate the case of the folly. If you don't cooperate, you might be convicted of covering up crime. Please don't be angry, mister. We talk, we'll talk. About a month ago, Will and Old Ting had a little argument. Will, young and candid, kicked the shrine. The statue fell. He said some words of disrespect. Then the shrine unleashed its powers? Well, yeah. There was smoke coming out from the shrine and there was gunpowder smell in the air. My head started buzzing but I couldn't breathe but I wanted to cough so I almost fainted. And what happened? Ting said that Will had offended the god of fire. Then he kicked everyone off the room. That very night Will got sick and lost his voice. I had nightmares. Whenever I closed my eyes I saw the statue staring at me. If the foreman hadn't begged the gods for forgiveness on Will's behalf, I'm afraid he wouldn't even be able to speak now. Could you, mister, please? You really can't say anymore. Oh, see? Now we had only one chance. We, we could only ask one question. So... Now I'm thinking if we ask the right one. The doors are locked, off limits to... Lotters? Mr. Patrolman, why is this door locked? What does that have to do with you, sir? We were entrusted by Deputy Administrator Lee to investigate. Oh, so it's Mr. Detective, then of course I'd have to help you out. However, this room is impure. Impure. Everyone knows deep down how old thing died. Beware of the shrine in that room. <clears throat> We're not scared. Let us in to have a look. Thank you for your trouble, sir. Mr. Patrolman, why haven't you opened the door yet? It really stressed me out having to help you open these doors. We're short on time. Oh my, thinking about opening this door is making my headache. Headache. Could I ask for your help? Okay, this guy looks suspicious. How can we help? I just heard a crisp, pleasant sound ringing off from you too. Could you lend me a hand to wake my memories? Something with a crisp and pleasant sound? Could he be asking for... Money? Oh, Simon Kora. Miło, że zajrzałeś. Lurk mold is fine by me. This sound is so enlightening to me. Alright. John, although this is just an ordinary statue, but after hearing all those rumors, Looking at it gives me the chills. It's almost as if Grandpa Jan Jiang and Grandma Mo Yi are watching me. 
Who the hell? Who allowed you to just come in here? Who? Who just said that? Who do you think? <laughs> Is that G Grandma Moe? <laughs> okay. Young lady, please stop playing tricks. Oh, thank you so much. Uh... I teraz przypomniałeś mi, że nie przeczytałem rozdziału dla ciebie jeszcze. Ah. Thank you very much, Raf, for uh, praise. Who's playing tricks? Hmm. If you weren't trying to tease people, why are you the lights off? I just finished my investigating and was about to leave. You were the ones who came in unexpectedly. What's wrong? Were you scared, kiddo? No, I wasn't. Oh, really? Then who did just... you call grandma? Let's begin investigations. Investigate? Investigate what? The falling incident this morning? Yep. Deputy Administrator Lee invited us here specially. What? He promised he'd give me exclusive coverage. Which newspaper do you work for? Miss. This is a misunderstanding. I am John Shen, a detective. This is my assistant, Frankie. Oh, so you are detectives. I'm Catherine Wen, a journalist for the Shanghai News. However, I don't think there's any chance for Mr. Detective to show off in this case anymore. What do you mean? I'm just about to uncover the truth. Even the headline for tomorrow's paper is drawn up. Exclusive coverage. The whole story of the falling incident at the Hanyang Iron Works. In that case, would you be willing to share the clues that you have, Miss Wen? It's fine if you want information, but you'll have to offer something useful to me in return. I'm, a, I'm an expert in science and John is skilled in deduction. Is this enough? Science is useful. I need some scientific knowledge for my articles. You can start asking me questions now. Okay, about Miss Wen. Why Miss Wen here at Ironworks? The Ironworks has just won orders from the Zhengtai Railway and the Canton Hankou railway. However, its products were said to have quality problems. It's a, at the center of a storm. My journalist intuition tells me that there is room for a news report here, says Catherine. Former glory gone, Hanyang Ironworks endures hardship. A news report like this. The title alone already sounds interesting. Yet, I was halfway done with my draft when this happened. So now you're planning to write about Foreman Ting's falling incident. I'm sorry for what happened, but 
this is definitely a better story. You can start asking me questions. What were you doing at the time of the incident, Miss Wen? I was originally planning to take some photos of factory floor this morning. When I got to the factory floor, I ran into Mr. Lee. He wanted to show me the new metal mixer. It wasn't long after we left the factory floor that we heard an explosion. We hurried on back. Was the rope barrier at the site of the incident arranged by Miss Wen? That's right. If the site is damaged in any way, the news report might be inaccurate. This measure was immensely helpful to the investigation. Well, of course, I'm a senior reporter. <clears throat> About the truth. What's the truth you discovered? You want me to just give you the answers? You'll know soon enough. It's getting late. I still need to get to metal casting platform to get my camera. Excuse me. Don't forget our promise. Well, John, let's start investigating the site as well. We can't lose to Miss Wen. It's not a competition. It is only about the truth, not about winning or losing. I still don't like her ego. <clears throat> the desk is clean, but the inkstone is covered with dust. It has been you it hasn't been used in a long time. Blueprints of the imported fur imported furnace under the paperweight. Also documents in foreign languages. These papers are covered in handwritten notes. It seems like Foreman Ting put in a lot of work. Could a craftsman who studies technology and reads foreign documents be superstitious? Hard to say. My idol Isaac Newton was a devout believer in his old age. We should record the condition of the desk first. Placed on the desk was a lamp, a ruler, a pen rack, blueprints and inkstone and some other things. The inkstone is quite dusty. Alright. Shrine. The shrine is dedicated to the statue of Gan Jiang and Mo Yi. The shrine is made of rosewood. It also holds an incense burner and a candlestick. Copper incense burner with three sticks of incense placed vertically. Is that it? Uh, wall clock. There's a western wall clock here. Here, the engravings say that this was a gift from Wuhan. <laughs> uh huh. Chamber of Commerce for water transport code of practice rule number one leaving without permission during work hours is prohibited number two name badges must be hung on the board during working hours all of the materials used in production shall be managed by foreman. 4. Those who are absent from work will be fined 7 days in wages. Ooh. 
that's well strict if you forgot to hang your name badge it would count as skipping work that's so strict board of name badges board made of copper with several rows on hooks on it looks like workers need to hang their name badges on this board when they are on duty map this is the floor plan for f for the factory floor the map looks quite new it was probably put up not long ago A working drawing of the open hair furnace is pasted right beside it blueprints pasted on the wall one working drawing of the open hair furnace the other a map of the factory floor John the dog is right outside the door we will go out after we finish investigating this case Hmm, so that's it. I hope we didn't miss anything. If you have anything to ask me, I will glad you tell everything I know about Supervisor Hall. What are your duties? I'm the supervisor of funds. All things l related to money here fall under my responsibility, such as bookkeeping, managing bills, as well as the purchasing of goods and materials, and paying wages. You're a smart cookie bro, but I'm not the one who's in charge of paying the wages, usually. The workers' wages are paid by the foreman directly, but that's why I am doing it. I just heard from the workers that the wages for this month are being paid earlier than usual. Indeed, Mr. Lee instructs me to do so, hoping that this will calm everyone down. You too probably don't know that the Siemens Martin furnace in this incident was very expensive. After the incident, people on the factory floor were terrified, causing the production to stagnate. For each day the furnace is not in operation, thousands of silver coins will be lost. No wonder Mr. Lee seemed so anxious. How is your relationship with Foreman Ting, Mr. Ho? My daily work intersects with his, so I guess we are quite familiar. What kind of person was Ting? He treats people a bit harshly, so he's not very popular among the workers. However, I know that he's just too obsessed with studying metallurgy. Obsessed with what he loved? I totally get him. I heard that he had a habit of worshipping the statue. Do you know when it started, Mr. Ho? If you're asking about the statue, it's a long story. The quality of our steel products was not stable, so we didn't have a steady flow of funds. Mr. Shane imported a Germany Siemens Martin furnace and ordered Mr. Lee to improve quality. We thought 
the problem would be solved, but our steel rails still have quality defects. Mr. Lee placed the stress onto David. David made a pledge promising he would get the job done. So that's when Foreman Ting began worshipping the gods. That statue was originally arranged by Mr. Lee. It was meant to be a symbol of luck. Who would have thought that David became obsessed with worshipping the gods? He often closed himself off the office all day long. He became unusually thin and pale with a withered face and he kept on mumbling strange things. What did he say? I don't quite remember. Something about Chinese learnings and Western learnings. Chinese learnings for the foundation, Western learning for practical use? That's it, he said to make steel in Hanyang, do as the ancient Hanyangers do. Well, I don't get it at all. I regret that I haven't paid more attention. Otherwise, none of this would have... <sighs> About the incident, were you present? When it occurred, Mr. Hall, I was checking inventory and only heard a bang. When I got there, the fire had been put out. I didn't know until after that it was... Huh. Mr. Ho, when and where was the last time you saw Ting? I ran into him yesterday evening right around here. It was almost payday, so I was busy verifying the account book. I went to double check workers' attendance with David. But when I met up with David, he appeared absent minded. He didn't respond when I called out to him. He walked into the office and locked himself inside. Everyone knows that he locks the doors when he's worshipping the gods. When you saw him yesterday, was there anything else unusual about him? Nothing else, no. Oh, I do remember a small detail though. I don't know if it counts. When I ran into him yesterday, he was wearing a head cloth. I have never seen him wear one before. He doesn't usually wear a head cloth? He thinks it's stuffy, so he rarely wears one. This detail deserves attention. I wrote it down, detective. He claims he last saw Foreman Ting yesterday evening near the steam turbines. He was wearing a head cloth. John, Miss Wen mentioned going to the metal casting platform to get her camera back. Could it be that she caught something shocking on camera? I need to go to the metal casting platform to speak with those who witnessed the incident. Where is the metal casting platform? I thought we already been there. We'll reach uh, the metal casting platform if we go up from here. Okay. Okay, now I see. Someone's coming. Oh, look at this scorched area uh, camera. There's a camera over here. This probably belongs to Miss Wen. 
It's completely burned. What a waste of good camera. Dan and Will. Why these people keep coming up here? I just shoot away a woman. And now two more guys. It's time for us to start casting ingots, so go back down right now. Will, it's detectives. You have to speak politely. Huh? Isn't that Will and his master? My apologies for it disturbing you both. I still have questions. Have a few more questions to ask. You're too kind, mister. Just call me then. If there's anything you'd like to know, we will definitely cooperate. What do the two of you think of Ting? We don't have any particular thoughts about the foreman. It's his karma, there's no... There's nothing more to say about it. It seems that the two of you don't like Ting very much. From his point of view, anything anyone else does is always wrong. He just doesn't like us. Will. There's no fault in the foreman being strict with his demands. Everyone did as he said, but the last batch of steel rails still screwed up, didn't it? He's just nitpicking. If there's anything you'd like to know. Were you two the ones who witnessed the process of incident this morning? Yes. If I could trouble you two to please tell me what you saw and heard at that time. This was the first trial production since the furnace was shut down and renovated. Just when we began casting, Will suddenly said, the foreman is watching us. It was him, standing next to the outlet. Molten steel was coming out, yet he didn't mind the heat. Okay. Are you sure that the person you saw at that time was Ting? I'm sure. He was leaning on the railing at the time. He looked spiritless and kept staring downwards. You did not notice Ting before this moment? No, he just appeared there out of the blue. The railings are super hot when molten steel is pouring out, but he didn't care at all. If he wasn't possessed by something, then what? Then you said earlier that when you saw him, molten steel was coming out. Did you see Ting or anyone else open the molten steel outlet shutter? Nope. When we began casting, both molten steel outlets were closed. Interesting. I remember clearly. I don't know who did it. It wasn't the time to open the shutter yet. And then... And then I just watched as the railings that he was leaning on disappeared. Disappeared? You mean the railing broke off and fell into the molten steel along with him? No, it disappeared, just vanished, out of thin air. I was watching the entire time, I didn't see anything else fall in. Then, did you also see the railing suddenly disappear? I didn't see it as vividly as Will did. 
but the foreman was indeed leaning on the railing and then he suddenly fell into the ladle. Then it exploded and fire was everywhere. When I looked again, he was no longer dead and there was no raiding either. Have you noticed some unusually... Un something unusual about him this morning? He was wearing a headcloth that he usually doesn't wear, nothing else. Yeah, I saw it too. Misters, we're about to start casting soon. Just go back down already. Don't be in our way. Whoa, the ladle. Okay, this looks cool. Man, this is interesting. I never... What are you still doing here? My apologies. Shall be gone. Well... Camera was conveniently placed at... Uh, well, scene. Detective Shen, Deputy Administrator Lee, is waiting for you in the office. He said that progress has been made in the case, so he's asking to meet up with you. I've already finished the investigation. Stam time to discuss with Mr. Lee. Well, I don't know. I don't know, we... investigated but nothing adds up investigations come to temporary close well let's begin Miss Wen has already uncovered the whole story of the incident let's listen to it together Miss Wen, please tell us about your findings. Tink's death wasn't caused by ghosts, nor was it an accident. It was actually suicide. Well, that's quite obvious from the well, first glance. Suicide? That's out of the question. Today is the pivotal moment for the trial production of the Siemens Martin Furness. T was engrossed in this affair. There's no way he would kill himself today of all days. It is precisely because of the importance of today that he chose to commit suicide today. Why is that? All these years, Foreman Ting has been obsessed with studying metallurgy. He proposed a method that was said to greatly reduce the cost of production. As a result, the steel rails of the Hanyang Iron Works began to receive large orders However, at this crucial moment, severe quality problems of the steel rails was exposed. Ting shouldn't have carried all the blame. It was mainly due to high phosphorus content in the coke that was used. To solve this problem, he made a pledge to improve the technique once more. However, every trial production recently 
ended in failure. In desperation he had no choice but to turn to superstitions and legends. What happened this morning was actually a planned suicide or more like a sacrifice. That's... Could it be that I put too much pressure on him? Tragic. Foreman melts his body to iron and steel. National industry less than ideal. Oh man, she's bad. This will be the next headline. Oh gosh. Miss Wen, you seem absolutely sure that Ting committed suicide. Do you have evidence? Well, of course. I found his suicide note on the office desk? Wait, 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 hold it right there. Where's the suicide note? How come we never saw it? Such important news materials would obviously need to be protected. Oh, come on. You, how could you hide evidence like that? I was afraid this clue would be lost, so I took it for safekeeping. How could that count as hiding evidence? Miss Man, would it be possible to let me take a look at the letter? Sure, there's nothing special about it anyway. For many years I have given everything to try and make good steel. Nevertheless, all of my attempts and methods have failed. It seems that it should follow the example of Gan Jiang and Mo Yi. Sacrificing myself to the furnace will surely move the hearts of the gods. The last words of David Ting written in the office of the furnace factory floor. John. It really is a suicide note. Your Honor, the handwriting does look like David's. Miss Wen, you didn't damage the evidence, did you? Of course not. I kept it exactly the way it was. Under these circumstances, Samuel, Go and draft an announcement. Announce that the whole story of this incident and quell the rumors. Hold on. Something is questionable about this letter. Oh jeez. So he knows and I don't know and I will have to pinpoint what's wrong. Oh, This is just an ordinary letter, what's wrong with it? There is a detail in this letter that conflicts with the existing evidence. Miss Wen, I shall review this letter one sentence at a time and question the prob problematic ones. Then, I shall compare this questionable content with the evidence we have already collected. If I am able to find evidence that contradicts the content of the letter, I shall present it to you. All right, go on then. Inquiry problem. For many years, I have given everything to try and make good steel. Okay, so since he was working here for many years, right? He, he was promoted to the foreman like seven months, six months ago. We can agree that he worked here for many years. He given everything to try and make good steel. Did he give everything or not is a subjective well, a uh, thing to say, an opinion, but I don't think we can say this is wrong to 
try and make good steel. Yeah, I can't find anything wrong with this. Nevertheless, all of my attempts and methods have failed. Well, this sounds also right. Right, that's what they said, but we collected evidence. Well, we don't really collect the evidence, we just made an investigation and report. Mm. Okay, I don't see anything wrong with that sentence. It seems that I should follow the example of Gan, Jiang and Mo Yi. Well, this sentence is tricky. Sacrificing myself to the fullness will surely move the hearts of the gods. Well, wait, last words of David Ting written in the office of the Furnace Factory floor. Is this how you would sign yourself? Man, I don't want to lose. I don't know what to do. Any ideas, guys? So, well, <clears throat> let's go on step by step. Many years I have given everything to try and make good steel. I think that's, that sounds good. All of my attempts have failed. Seems that I should follow the example of Gan, Jiang and Mo Yi. see our oh that will be helpful okay so ladle towering at height of more than two meters it can hold 30 tons of molten steel at a time form and thing was seen falling into one in order to minimize burns the lever was designed to be very long so that the operated c operator could only open the outlet shutter from a fair. White powder, I forgot about that. Found under the railing at the site of the incident, upon closer examination these small particles had a lingering pungent smell. I have no idea. The coins. Office desk placed. Oh, I know. It couldn't have been written at the night of the accident because. Uh, Inkstone was quite dusty, right? I'm not sure how to use inkstone, but this would probably be less dusty, right? 
So... Last words of David Ting, written in the office of the furnace factory floor. Okay, let's try this one. If it's not the one... I hope we are right. Does Miss Wen believe that Ting wrote this suicide note in the office. This letter was written with a calligraphy brush. It was written on the desk in the office. Then have you ever paid attention to the inkstone on the office desk? Inkstone? This suicide note was indeed written with a calligraphy brush. It also mentions with written in the office at the end. However, the only inkstone in the office is dry and has accumulated a layer of dust. Yes, we were right. Good job, you guys. Evidently, it has not been used in a long time. There is an evident contradiction. This letter could not have been written at the office. Ironworks are always dusty, so it's normal for dust to accumulate. Yet there is barely any dust on the desk, not to mention the shrine is completely spotless. It is thus clear that only the inkstone has not been used in a long time. Your honor that... What if Tink carried a brush and inkstone around with him? Who in the world would carry an inkstone around? It's quite unreasonable. Is Mr. Detective going to dismiss this possibility? Miss Wen, you are welcome to make such an assumption. However, there is one detail on this letter that contradicts the signature. What? Come on. I don't recall which part was which. Ah, <laughs> okay, the translation now would be really helpful. Okay, we just need to remember. So, this said, uh, for many years, uh, I tried to make good steel. Like, but I failed. I need to follow the example of someone, sacrifice myself, some... Okay, <clears throat> this is really, really tough one because we don't see exactly what said, uh, what each sentence mean uh, and this is Chinese <laughs> well okay let's go point out the place that contradicts with the signature probably signature is not contradicting the signature right and the signature was this part So she said, what if he carried the inkstone with and brush with him, on him? I have no idea. Damn it. Okay, it is not the first, because the first said, for many years I gave, I gave like everything to create a good steel. So it's not this. This was that, that he failed. This was that he's gonna follow example and sacrifice himself. 
I don't recall exactly. Right, guys. I'll be watching the replay. For many years I have given everything to try and make good steel. Nevertheless, of all my attempts and methods have failed. It seems that I should follow the example of Gan Jing and Mo Yi. Sacrificing myself to the furnace will surely move the hearts of the gods. Last words of David Ting written in the office of the furnace. Well, if he wrote it in the office, why would he carry around the inkstone? Why, right? I think only this makes sense. Am I right? But that would be like the signature contradicts the signature. Okay, what the hell did I? Oh man, we're gonna fail it. I have no idea why, uh, what am I marking? Do I have to know Chinese? Alright, guys, I know a bit of Japanese and the letters are similar. I know the letter for office it looks Oh, hell, I know. I can't read that. Damn it, I'm the worst. All right, but the... Uh, let's try. Let's try. So, let's assume if they refer to the office There was maybe a roof. Okay, let's... Ah. Man, this is unfair. I'm gonna fail this. We have to pick up like the words. Huh, would you believe that? Ah, precisely. <laughs> All right, you see, it's easy. I, I just had to learn Japanese for two years. I mean, on my app, I, I wasn't attending any class. And, uh, well, I could produce a good enough guess. Miss Wen said that she had specially kept the letter as it was 
to prevent damaging evidence. Therefore, Miss Wen was not the one who caused these creases, correct? That's right, I didn't make those creases. Oh, oh man, I'm the worst detective ever. I was so focused on the meaning of the letters, I didn't see that there was any, well, creases, like the stains, probably. When you discovered the letter, it was lying flat out on the surface of the office desk, right? Correct? Yeah, what's the problem? There are creases on the letter. Usually a letter is folded so that it is more convenient to carry. Oh, so creases is not the stains. It's like the markings of the uh, paper being folded. Okay, sorry for that. If this letter was truly written by Ting in the office before he committed suicide, why would he go through the trouble of folding it? That's right and so apparent now. Ah, and I was thinking about the meaning. Man. Maybe he wrote the letter somewhere else. But the letter clearly states it was written in the office. That's true. Could it be that the suicide note was forged? That is correct. Someone is trying to cover the truth of Foreman Ting's death. What? What need is there to cover up Ting's death? The workers clearly saw him jump into the furnace. Could it be possible that the workers who witnessed the incident are hiding something? Cool. Go and bring all the workers who were present at the time of the incident for questioning. Yes, sir. Mr. Detective, you still haven't completely convinced me. Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> Good to see you after a while. It's great to see you, actually. How have you been? As you see, I'm right now playing detective games. Whew. All right, that's good to hear. Great to hear. I, I'm i trying out operated games uh, on Steam that was uh, that were recently released and this is one of the top games. Uh, it's not fully translated to uh, English yet. So we're playing demo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm having some renovation again, but uh, it's it's all good. Great to have you here. Nice. So yeah, uh, I was, you know, uh, discovering, uh, trying to discover the truth be behind. The death of one of the workers in the metal casting factory in China. And uh, well, there are some witnesses who said he jumped into, into the furnace uh, or the well, metal container for molten uh, uh, steel. And um, well, there's this uh, reporter who claimed that this was a suicide because it looked like a suicide. Also, she had a suicide note, but right now we shown that uh, it was forged and it was 
well, quite a task because we don't know Chinese that well. But uh, yeah, truth is we didn't really have to know Chinese to see that the letter was folded. Mm. Anyway, I played this game yesterday. The, I, it's free on uh, Steam if you like to try it on your own. Mm. Anyway, we should continue, I guess. None of us accurately predict the state of mind of a person before their death. It's also possible that Ting wrote the letter somewhere else, then left it in the office. Hmm, although this is highly unlikely, the possibility does exist. We should not make conclusions based on a single piece of evidence. Let's discuss it later. Alright. It says Foreman Ting was vexed at his failure in steel making, so he chose to end his life by steel after writing this in the office. Then let's put the matter of the suicide note on hold and discuss other doubts first. Oh man, again? Fine. Your Honor, Dan and Will are here. Come on in. Ooh, so good. I got to... Ah, man. If you recommend this... I think I should try it as well. The two of you need to retell the events of this morning once more. Don't miss out any details. Eight hours? Trial. Ooh, eight hours. It's much better than two hours before you can refund on Steam. Hmm. Yeah, so Skull and Bones, pirate game. Yeah, I heard all uh, the good about this game. I want to try it to well, thank you. You're the best, bro. You give me inspiration for next streams. School and Bones. Eight hours. Okay. Great, great. We spent all morning saying the same things a bunch of times. Will answer his honor questions properly. Oh, at the time, my master and I were in the middle of casting ingots. Suddenly, saw the foreman thing. He was resting against the railing next to outlet number two. When Will reminded me of what he saw, I noticed that the outlet shutter behind him was open so the outlet shutter opened at the same time as the appearance of the foreman i think huh <laughs> No, not me. Popular person like you with your Avengers probably would uh, fill the server with friends, allies or enemies. But uh, if I created the server with even my close friends, we would probably have like seven people most. 
and they wouldn't play <laughs> probably most of the time but no worries we could join another server I think he probably opened it by himself seconds after things suddenly dived forward right after that the ladle exploded yeah there's one contradiction with their statements that is related to this evidence hmm wait okay he couldn't open open the outlet shutter on his own because it's very long and he couldn't go through and what can I say I'm a social butterfly <laughs> that's so nicely put it was impossible for Ting to open the outlet shutter by himself could not have been the only person on site why not the lever is very long to pull it one must stand on the other side of the molten steel basin however when they saw Ting they also found the outlet shutter open this could not be achieved by someone alone it it might not have been completely simultaneous after all will and i weren't staring at the other side the entire time mr detective couldn't think just pull open the shutter then sprint to the ladle no he could not because this was present on site okay it's impossible because you can't jump over the hot molten metal yeah yeah you know what I played uh, uh, Sea of Thieves and uh, I loved the well theme of uh, uh, sailing, no catching fish, and uh, drinking, shooting, sailing, and also uh, music making. Yeah, so the well, victim couldn't jump over this because it's too hot once the outlet shutter is opened basin will be filled with molten steel of 1600 celsius could not possibly pass through pass the through the refiling area yeah that couldn't be happening that fast this could not be achieved in a short amount of time perhaps he opened the shutter beforehand it was only a coincidence that Dan and Will didn't see him do it the outlet shutter was closed the whole time before the incident I'm not lying even if Dan and Will possibly missed sighting him when Ting passed through the refiling area he was bound to run into the furnace charger Cole how do we explain the fact that Cole was completely oblivious to Ting's appearance did the five ghosts teleport him did the shrine unleash its powers okay Ghosts and guts are not at play here. The will of a person is. Man, this is so cool. 
Do I have my friends back? Okay. So, other person must have been present at the scene of things falling at incident. The moment thing leaned against the railing, person pulled open the outlet shutter. Wait a second. With Dan and Will watching in front of the furnace and Cole working in the back. If there really was another person present on site, how could he possibly remain undetected? Good question. Ooh. By using this piece of evidence, they would be able to conceal themselves tactfully. Man, I don't know. Definitely not this. This, however, could make a person disappear. Huh. Well, crash white powder under the rating at the site of the incident. Lingering pungent smell. I know that this piece of evidence will play part at some point, but Probably not now. We already used this. Um, I don't think this is the evidence. We don't have it, basically. Wait, there's testimony. He claims he saw four men thing yesterday evening near the steam turbines. He was wearing a head cloth. Head cloth. Hmm. Oh man. You know what I wanted to try also? Uh, what's that name called? As we are talking about the uh, games to play. Fall Guys. I heard this is really popular right now. Maybe you would like to play with me this sometime. This is like more of a party game. Mm. Blueprints of the wall. I don't think you can cover with blueprints. I mean, a person could hide behind this so I think I'm gonna try with this doesn't make sense to show office desk, desk blueprints so but maybe grayish white powder but we don't know what this white powder is yet so let me go with the ladle If that person wanted to conceal their tracks, all he had to do was utilize the ladle to his advantage. I got it. You are talking about a visual blind spot. Yes. This is so called blind spot. Does it refer to an area that can't be seen? Obviously. True, the ladle is 2 meters tall and one and a half in diameter it would definitely block their vision but my master and i were standing in different places when we were casting one of us will be always looking at the other side where were you and will standing during this task what was your distance from the ladle usually i stand on the left side and Will stands next to me, we're close to it. I have observed the two of you working from the metal casting platform. Both of you have blind spots when you were 
working and your blind spots intersects each other. Yeah, that looks right. That was where the suspect hid himself. Ooh, yeah, that's... But my master and I won't just stand there. When the ladle moves, we move along with it. Wouldn't we see them once we start walking? The reason why you would not be able to see the suspect is because... The suspect moved with the ladle, of course. He could continuously stay in the blind spot. That's... As long as he can't see the workers, the workers won't be able to see him. Because the path of light is reversible. Interesting, this was published in a novel column. I'm sure readers would be interested. However, I'm afraid Mr. Detective forgot that things falling invoked an explosion. If there was another person on the platform at that time, how could he survive? Yet there were no other casualties. Hmm... How do you explain that? Man, I don't know. I believe the suspect could have hidden here. Well, obviously he could hide only here. Because where else? Passage on the right side of Furnace 2 was not affected. He could hide here. Covering behind the ladle, he was not far from the passageway when the explosion occurred. While Tink's appearance caught the attention of the workers, he hid inside the passageway. Sounds like the suspect not only knows still making, but also knows people well. But that still doesn't seem right. Will, what right do you have to interrupt their conversation? What other problems are you aware of? I clearly saw Ting leaning on the railing. He toppled over because it suddenly disappeared. It's a good one. If the shrine didn't unleash its power, how could the railing suddenly disappear? Railings won't disappear out of thin air, thin air kiddo. Ghosts don't exist in this world either. Oh man, more viewers, welcome guys. So... Man, you're kind of late, but uh, we're discovering mystery behind the well incident that appeared to be a suicide in order to well convince the gods to be well to help uh, metal workers create better steel but appears there are many many Mm, flaws in this theory so we're getting bo into bottom of this to the bottom of this the game is free on steam uh, I mean demo it's free I mean it's a uh, full version is on steam too but uh, I heard that translation full translation will be there in March 
So any time now. Railings won't disappear on their own. Uh, yeah. I saw it with my own eyes. I swear. Hundred percent sure that you saw wrong. Okay, that's rude. It's easy for people's memories to get confused when they are nervous. I didn't see wrong. Miss Man, why are you so sure that we was mistaken? When I saw, when I was taking photos yesterday evening, the railing was already missing. Okay. But I don't think she's right because the only way for the person to, well, fall down if it wasn't a suicide would be if you were leaning against a metal bar and it was suddenly taken from you, right? It's like the only thing you're, uh, well, hanging on, right? Cole, the furnace charger, was the only person on duty last night. He claims that he didn't install any railings. Take a look at this photo. Yes. Here we can see there's no railing. I saw him leaning against the railing. Stop sticking your neck out. Too much talk is always a loss. How did he fall then? Mm. Is it possible someone was helping him? The disappearance of the railing and things falling may be connected to this. Makes sense. Grayish white powder. Maybe this melted or, uh, well, simply was uh, the, the bar, the rating was uh, destroyed by the uh, great temperature that molten steel. Uh, produced so yeah it's it must be this this is the powder that Frankie found near the railings this powder is actually grayish white particles that have a lingering pungent smell this is the residue of a burnt sub substance we have only found it at the site of the incident this indeed doesn't seem like something used in steel making we believe that the suspect set up some kind of mechanism on site that caused things falling he might even say to the to think to check something out right just look into the, you know, molten steel. I never thought the incident could be so complicated. Mechanism is quite newsworthy. So what kind of mechanism was it exactly? Well, we still need some time to investigate that. I've seen a number of Western machinery strange and intricate things that left me in a ow, ow, e, a ow. <laughs> if the mechanism you speak of can be restored this whole incident will make sense ghosts and gods were not at work here but mar mar machinery caused it all however there is still one thing that i can't understand 
The series of plans were quite complicated and required the cooperation of Ting. Yeah, that's right. Ting must must think that he's well doing something to help maybe. Why would Foreman Ting be at the mercy of another? Cor Corst? And I need to check. Sorry. Okay. So Corst means like he was forced. He planned this himself. I'm afraid he already... Hmm. I don't know what it says. Who's cursed? He planned this himself. I would... I don't think he planned this himself. He wouldn't. That would be stupid. It would be suicide still. This makes no sense because we don't know what's... We, we can't pick this answer. This might be possible that the... Uh, well, part of the statement is uh, missing. But let's go with this one. Mm, okay, this says Frankie, so... Okay, then, then it's not. <sighs> well, maybe he did plant this himself. Right? Why? Okay, we're not gonna do all this. Oh, we can see this. Gyan Jiang. Four swords. No, that's not it. Anyway. Hmm. I want to see... Oh, yes, this. Yeah, he had a headcloth. Maybe he did plan this himself. Not whole suicide thing. Let's go for this. Okay, it's not this. I'm the worst detective ever. Perhaps Ting had been purposely creating a creepy atmosphere? His strange death undoubtedly pushed this atmosphere to its peak. Perhaps he did all of this on purpose and we will never know. No. I uh, need to consider other possibilities. I am afraid he already. Okay, the, I would never guess this because... Okay, I'm afraid that Ting at the time had already come to harm. How is that so? Will claimed that he saw Ting leaning against the railing, staring directly downward. The room? No, I never heard about it. The room, but mobile game, hmm. 
it's also a detective, a mystery solving thing. Man. Here on fire, bringing me stuff to check out. Oh yeah, I do like these. The room. Man, I need to make notes. Okay, I don't have to. I, I remember that I needed to check the skull and bones. But he also, also the room. I'm gonna check it. <sighs> Railings were burning hot, but it did not matter to him because he could not feel anymore. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have you on this course. It would be nice to have even more friends, but I prefer to have quality friends over volume of friends. It also explains why he did not jump down, but instead dived forward. I suspect this was a murder. Damn. <laughs> then you're rich. Need to conduct another round of supplementary investigations. I wonder now who was the culprit. I bet not these two, because after initial uh, fail they started to cooperate. She is definitely... She, well, I don't think she is the culprit. Neither is he. I don't know. I have no idea who this might be. Although we have a preliminary deduction of the suspects, um, oh, there are still many mysteries. Like how the suspect left the scene, as well as the suspect's identity and his motive. We have no clue at all at the moment. Thing is stubborn and has offended many people. But he is a diligent man who should have, shouldn't have suffered such misfortune. At present, the Iron Works can, can't afford to be delayed any further. Your Honor, the nature of a homicide is different. If the villain commit more crimes, the Iron Works will lose more. If no conclusions tomorrow morning, you may draft an announcement to suppress public opinion. Besides, I believe Mr. Detective will uncover the truth before tomorrow morning. Isn't that right, great detective? I will do my best. That's so nice. Man, man you, you, you can create so many good things. And uh, I, I haven't heard the music you created, but uh, ability to bring closer people is a hell of an achievement. That's so cool. Detective, why is Miss Wen on our side all of a sudden? She doesn't seem to mind that she lost to you either. I heard that. Who said this was a competition? <laughs> Frankie said. Like Frankie said. <sighs> to stream it my way. The news should be more important to Miss Wen. How about this? Falling incident shrouded with mystery. Detective Trees tries to uncover conspiracy. Trees? Tries? 
What should we do next? If Ting had already come to harm before he fell into the ladle, that proves the second floor furnace or area is most likely not the primary crime scene. We need f to think of a way to find primary crime scene. Cole said the foreman Ting's death is related to the shrine in the office. Will Ons kicked over the statue, causing the shrine to unleash its power and make him fall ill. I wonder what the shrine actually looks like. Okay, we were there already. Yeah, why did he wear a headcloth? Does wearing a headcloth even count as being suspicious? Wearing a headcloth is... An iron works not only prevents burns, also reduces water loss. People do not have a change in habits slightly, not unless there is a particular reason. How did he leave? Even if the suspect used the ladle to stay undercover and avoided the sight of Dan and Will, how was he able to leave the scene completely undetected? After the incident, workers were fighting the fire in front of the furnace. They would have seen him if he walked out from the front. I believe his safest choice would be the elevator in the charging area behind the furnace said that he didn't see anyone unless we need to reinvestigate the surroundings of the charging area that's right and this might be a primary crime scene how are we supposed to find it we don't even know if he was already dead or in a state of unconsciousness before he fell. We need to broaden the scope. Let's look into the places Tink had been before the incident. Okay. This is the desk that supervisor Hoch removed here temporarily. There's a headcloth on the desk. Hoch was using it to bag the money. <coughs> There's an account book next to it. Let me take a look. Cole's wages were deducted a lot. The reason is because he skipped work multiple times. Will's wages were the second most deducted for being late. Dan's have also been deducted. These are circumstances worth keeping in mind. So... Alright, backyard. monument was erected when Hanyang Ironworks was first put into operation. At the time there were quite a few foreign engineers who came to work at the ironwork. Okay. Who is this guy? This laboratory is huge. Speak of the devil. I was just telling Mr. Robinson about you two detectives. There are a few questions we would like to ask Mr. Robinson. Of course, allow me to introduce you. This is Mr. Robinson, a chemist from England. He's also the head of this laboratory. 
This is Detective Shen. Besides him is his assistant, Frankie. Detective Shen, I did hear the deductions are marvelous. This case is still under investigation, so your cooperation would be greatly appreciated. If to be true, he Either is odd, I can hope the with pretty did let me know with Mr. Robinson. I'm also really interested in chemistry. There are some experiments that come to mind. Can I borrow your laboratory table? Hi, I. Several test tubes and a scale. On the table, Mr. Robinson. Tell me about yourself. To best able to smelt metals, this behold the fool to under the stand. Oh man, this is such a tough English to read. Understand death the composition of the minerals, uh, deciding the ingredients, the portions and which refining process to use it. He's saying before still making we need to know the composition of the materials and we decide on the ingredients, proportions and which is which refining process to use. Who is responsible for running tests on composition of various minerals through chemistry. So Mr. Robinson is also in charge of chemical testing for the quality of the steel rails, right? We don't have the arts to explore the caliber of steel rails. The Ironworks laboratory does not have the credentials to run tests on steel rails. Credentials? The railway constructs, mainly foreign companies, have their own preferred testing institutions. The test reports issued by our Ironworks are not recognized. <coughs> These speak of the true whole. If tr be true, tighter is odd. Well, about Herman thing. I heard that he once served as your assistant. Why was he transferred to the factory floor? Think was very talented. I applaud his contributions as mine aid. He did though help me in many ways, and in return, I did give him bounteous rewards. Coquel, so he did make an unforgiven inspiration. He was cute. Cut pursue. He did steal my notes, which did continuous data of the essence. It's still my laboratory instruments, then did return them the next morning. Oh me, the gods did though uh, he truly think I wouldn't find out. Everything he th hath a fixed placement. I did know of his trickery. It sounds like Ting wanted to gain more knowledge. Lab has its own rules. Not like people who don't follow the rules. Mm. David, both have probably already heard about David Pitt, Mr. Robinson. What? Pitt? That? David came to ask Mr. Robinson in private to help him test the steel made by his method. 
Mr. Robinson agreed and ran tests over and over. The results were unsatisfactory. David was quite stubborn and insisted that Mr. Robinson was being half-hearted. Only meant to help, so naturally he resented David's accusations. Uh, Robinson's words became quite harsh. David was so angry that he beat Mr. Robinson. The matter was only resolved when Deputy Administrator Lee stepped in. After all, David was just too eager to ache success. Portrait on the wall. Portrait of Zhang Zhidong. Zhang advocates advocation and industry. He is a person I admire greatly. Stack of documents, bottle of ink and a quill pen are placed on the desk. This is chemical test reports for steel. Steel in this report is made by using coal from Westphalia. All indexes are up to standards. Steel in this report was made by a mixture of Chinese coke, breeze and anthracite. It all fails in some way. This is probably something that must be lowered. High phosphorus content leads to fragmentation in the steel. It seems that the choice of fuel really affects the quality of the steel. Magazine cabinet. Complete account of iron manufacture electricity. The bookshelf is full of technical books. Remaining documents are all in foreign languages. Natural philosophy is the first book I read about science and technology. Miss Wen, are you also here to investigate? I'm here for the photos. Camera was destroyed, but fortunately the film inside was untouched. Ooh. From the laboratory helped me develop them. What kind of photos did you take? Can we have a look? I only took a few and most of them are scenery shots. You can see for yourself. Let's take a look at Miss Wen's photos. One moment, there are still few questions that I would like to ask Miss Wen. About the ironworks. As you are writing a report on the ironworks, you must know its recent developments. Well, of course, I'm a senior reporter. It's really difficult for domestic enterprises like the Hangyang Ironworks to develop and grow. They need to buy foreign equipment. Even mineral resources are controlled by foreigners. Yeah, China, China is not so poor right now. At the market, foreigners control the right to build most railways in China. They are the ones who decide whose steel rails to buy and what the standards for testings are. Take the Shanghai Nanjing Railway with a British chief engineer for example. The agreement specifies that the British in charge of purchase take a commission of 5%. Naturally, the British will choose to buy Western products to gain more profit. When they purchase steel rails, they would need pick at Hanyang Ironworks product. Recently, the Ironworks is more competitive due to a new method that greatly reduces cost. I was saying about bad quality of its steel rails have sent Ironworks to rock bottom. No wonder Mr. Deputy Administrator seemed so anxious. That's why he hopes that my new news report can help them restore their reputation. Ok, 
Catherine's photos. Left is a photo of Han Yang Ironworks Fright Dog. In the middle is a photo of the molten steel basin. I've seen this before. This photo was taken in the office on the furnace factory floor. And then he left. The office in the photo looks different to what it like now. Was this photo taken yesterday evening as well? Yep. What about it? This detail in the photo differs from how the office is now. It seems quite peculiar. Okay. I think this is money. So this is not actually so weird. I don't recall the lamp. It's not the lamp. Wait. No. It's too easy. Well. Oh! This looks different. It was replaced. This was replaced by. The crate furnace mm, blueprint or whatever. The photo flowchart of the steel making process was placed above the map. Now it's a working drawing on open hair furnace. Yeah. Map in the photo looks evidently more war down who did it why would they suddenly make such a change when the incident occurred it i was in the office the blueprints were switched out then do you think this could be related to things death it is hard to believe that there is no connection whatsoever between these two could it be that the suspect did it we cannot rule out this possibility. Yeah. Was it necessary for Ting to replace the flowchart with a working drawing? No. Could you not surprise me like that? Could you not avoid the subject? Answer me. Was it necessary for Ting to replace the flow chart with a working drawing? No need. There was no need. Both furnaces are in operation. It didn't make any sense to hang the working drawing up again. Ting had no reason to change the blueprints nor with other workers unless <coughs> the suspect did it. Go on. Does, does the suspect have valid reason to replace the blueprint?
cover up tracks. No, that's not right. The size and location of the blueprints have not changed. Leave a message? Destroy information? Okay, <clears throat> clearly there was some information on the blueprint that the suspect did not want us to see. In order to destroy them, they switched out. They switched out both the blueprints. What kind of information was it? Nothing special about the two blueprints in the photo. No traces of handwriting on them either. Aside, aside from its worn-out state, the map is the exact same as the map on the wall now. Which means... was left after the information could have only been left after after the photo was taken new information appeared on the blueprints that were torn off So, what's the new information? There are too many possibilities. Yeah, no, the suspect has only one reason to hide evidence. Hidden evidence will reveal his crime. Rumors say Ting was killed by ghosts. He was murdered before falling into the ladle. This means that the new information that appeared on the blueprints were huh I don't know man I don't know any clue guys Guys, this means that the new information that appeared on the blueprints why blood stains dying message simultaneously on two large sheets of paper placed next to each other no this type of mark is usually small could appear at the paper seems by coincidence however the more probable circumstances would be that Last things. Suspect is trying to make people believe Tink was killed by ghosts. If a blood stain is found on the factory floor, his schemes would be exposed. Evidence. Show me evidence that supports your deduction.
evidence that could direct, indirectly prove that deceased was injured and bleeding is indirectly prove that the deceased was injured and bleeding is yeah wearing a head cloth that's right think abnormally wore a head cloth this morning head cloth may have been used to cover the wounds and blood stains on his head however this is not enough to prove the hypothesis I just made. Unfortunately, the body has been destroyed, otherwise an autopsy would reveal everything. Even if it's just a hypothesis, at least it tells us that the primary crime scene is most likely the office. John, John, are you alright? Did your headache act up again? I'm fine. Just now, I have understood something. It's most likely that the office was the primary scene of the crime. The blueprints were switched out because blood splattered across them. Wow, so that's what it was. However, this is just a hypothesis. We need to find a way to prove it. If blood splattered onto the blueprints, we should be able to find blood stains on the wall, but we didn't find anything at all, so it must have been wiped clean. If only we could find a way to test for it. are displayed uh, blah, blah, blah. what kind of experiments are these used for mainly used to test composition of minerals and steel what what was that had an unpleasant flashback as long as you're fine <coughs> I just found a bottle of Regan that's quite rare. Perhaps it can be of use. I think I got an idea. My dad notes I once read about ammonia powder that glows when it reacts with blood. I never thought this laboratory would have it. See this one. Scientific name for it is Free amino Okay, you can try to prepare a blood detec detecting reag reagent. That would be wonderful. Reagent, uh, that's how I should pronounce it. Let's go borrow Mr. Robinson laboratory table. Oh, mini game. Cool. It's time to start preparing the blood. The de detection reagent. I just need to follow my father's notes step by step. I'm sure it will be made perfectly. Oh, here are the notes. Luminol. Uh, 
let me know, let me know. grams of NaOH, six grams oh yeah all right water 90 millimeters uh, milliliters, I mean, uh, well, what's the density of water? Is it important here? Where's water? Right, anyway. Wait, this is not... Wait, what? How are we supposed to do this? don't have water here oh we do okay oh, okay <laughs> was scared there for a moment 90 millimeters of water 90 of H2O2 all right bro have fun thank you thank you for uh, coming wish you have wind in your sails mm. I'm gonna deduct some more. Alright. 40 milliliters. No, no, it wasn't your bad that I uh, screwed this up. I just thought I can add water twice. And I cannot. So... Oh yeah, I understand now. It was easy. Okay, we have the... Reagent. All right, now can check the stains. <laughs> I 
Mr. Patrolman. The murder suspect on the loose in the iron walk. Mr. Lee has already traveled enough. If there's anything you want to know, you can try asking me. Did I ever have a problem with anyone? There's quite a few. Let's count Will in first. Was it because Ting was strict and paid Will's wages late? Not entirely. Ting was stricter with Will more than he was with anyone else. So Will hated it. Ting came from the backwater countryside and was the youngest in his family. The past two years his family either died of illness or old age. He was the only one left. He was also an old bachelor. There's even no one to handle his funeral affairs. Will was also born in a poor family. He's clever. Everyone knows Ting treated him as his son. It's regrettable that Ting was obsessed with steel making. He was not considerate at all. He meant well, but sometimes his words sounded to be harsh and mean. That's why Will kicked over his shrine a while ago. So Ting was really quite alone. It sounds so pitiful. He had other dispute. Ko is also quite stubborn, so these two stubborn old men often fought. While back, Ting even beat that Mr. Foreigner from laboratory. Thanks to his bad temper, he lost his job in the lab and became a laboring foreman here. If there's anything you wanna know. Right, this may, may help us with the motive. All right, let's go. You know, there are a few questions about the shrine that I would like to ask you. There's no harm in asking. I heard that you are the one who arranged the statue. David repeatedly asked me to invite the gods and I couldn't argue with him. He was quite concerned about this and even built the shrine by himself. He would know that after the gods were invited all these things, terrible things, happened. So Ting built the shrine and the altar by himself. Didn't check the altar beneath the shrine. No matter, feel free to investigate it. Evidence examination. Huh? Behind the altar is a secret compartment? of containers and reagents, the secret compartment. It appears this is the true secret of the shrine. Huh. There are three bottles placed on this shelf, none of which has been sealed at the mouth. There's a gunpowder smell. Got it, John. This bottle contains concentrated nitrile acid. Two pieces of steel soaked in reagents seem to have been corroded. 
One of the labels says, says sample made by pig iron burnt with coal from Westphalia. The other label says sample made by a mixture of Chinese coke breeze and anthracite. anthracite. Ammonia, sodium, hydroxide, all kinds of reagents placed on this shelf. Cauldron, iron frame, funnel, crucible, a chronic flask, dropper. These are all common appliances used for chemical experiments that are placed on this shelf. Wait, that's not it? Oh, three bottles on the shelf, but here's the burning mark, <clears throat> it's hollow to the touch, it's the result, result of corrosion, completed, <clears throat> never knew there was a whole set of chemical appliances hidden within the shrine. So it's actually secretly conducting experiments instead of worshipping gods. I never know any of this. Would it be possible to ask you a few more questions? Go on, Detective Shen. Has you ever seen these chemicals appliances in the shrine? I never knew that he was secretly conducting experiments. These appliances do look like the ones I used, I mean, ones used in the laboratory in the backyard. It's possible that Ting borrowed these from laboratory? Can't be sure, but he used to be assistant of Mr. Robinson, the chemist here. When he needed a foreman on the factory, Mr. Robinson recommended him. Is it not true that he's overqualified for the job as a foreman? <coughs> it is indeed more laborious and dangerous to work on the factory floor than in laboratory. However, he has agreed. He has great an enthusiasm for steel making. I recall you once said that he has always been studying open hearth steel making technology. He wanted to improve the formulation on st of steel to reduce cost and increase efficiency. The mine minerals obtained by our ironworks are most likely mostly phosphate rocks, leftovers by the Japanese. To produce good steel, we would we had to buy pricey phosphorus-free coke from the foreigners. Not only production cost high, quality has always been unstable. After we use open hearth process, product quality has improved, but costs are still high. Think suggested to replace foreign coke with a mixture of Ping Xiang coke, breeze and anthracite still will be refined in the open hair furnace as phosphorus is removed. The open half hair process used the alkaline furnace which is good at removing phosphorus. Nevertheless, this has nothing to do with the chemical appliances in the shrine. heard from the workers that there was a problem with a batch of the products. Things method reduced cost by a third. We also did some tests on its me mechanical properties. The results are good. Therefore we trial produced a batch of steel rails. Good quality and low price helped us get orders from many railways. But that's when things went wrong. Oh, Indeed, the test reports from London came back saying that there was quality problems with our products. The report says that the carbon content of the steel was too low to be durable. 
phosphorus content was too high and has prospects of fragmentation. As a result, the construction company for the railway refused to accept our steel rails. Public also accused us of cutting corners and such on important matter. I felt so ashamed. I'm sure Ting was also under a lot of stress too. After that incident his in condition hasn't been so well. I really have no idea what kind of experiment he was doing this with these chemical appliances. Thank you. No. Sir, we suspect that the office was the scene of the crime. We need to detect blood. Shall we close the door and windows and turn off all the lights? As long as it contributes to uncovering the truth, whatever is necessary. Oh. On the walls and on the floor. The blood stains on the wall are mainly cast off patterns. Blood stains with a wide range. Preliminary judgment the murder weapon was not a knife but a blunt object instead. Could the murder weapon be something inside this room? If it's an object in this room, the murder probably committed a crime of passion. There's a blurry blood stains on the floor with uneven thickness. This is wipe pattern left by the murderer when they cleaned up the crime scene. You see those parallel lines at the edges are swipe marks. Scattered spots surrounding the blurry blood stains that seem to be projected blood stains. This is the result of blood colliding and splattering all around. Oh, new follower. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? What happened? What's going on, guys? Is this a ride or something? Whoa, thank you for all the follows. Man, what's going on? How is it possible? It's like... 20 people followed at once. Did uh, any of you guys... Right, guys. Welcome to the stream. I... Okay, it was like... All at once, so I hope... It's, uh, it's real people, but probably not. Such traces often appear at the scene where... Them is repeatedly hit by a blunt instrument. Thank you, thank you. Um. The wall with the blueprints has cast off pattern, blood stains as expected. Very long. Huh? 
murderer really switched out the blood prints to hide the blood stains, of course. There are two long casts of pattern blood stains on the board of name badges. Cast of range is wider than any of the cases I have seen before. Man, I don't know what's going on with uh, all these. Cast of range is wider than any of the cases I've seen before. Badges are blocking the bloodstains. Shall I take them down and test them? <coughs> Hanging positions could also be clues. Mm -hmm. So the crime took place before workers start work. Mm -hmm. Man, what, what else? I don't see anything else. Hypothesis, go on. Statue of Gan Chiang and Mo Yi. Weight is appropriate, but the shape seems to be a bit short. Oh. Okay, so something like this could be the weapon. this oh wait already tested what 
What else could this be? It's not chair, not lamp, not the chairs. Finally, I tried to click on this many times. This one looks like a symbol drawn. The bloodstained floor. The other looks like a stamp and it feels somewhat familiar. Something that could leave such a large bloodstain should be murder weapon. This is highly possible. Trace is very important and needs to be specifically recorded. Found on the floor. It looks a bit familiar, like a kind of symbol. Oh, we did it. Wasn't easy. What are you doing here? Did you just say that the foreman was murdered? <clears throat> Highly likely that he's murdered. Yes, I would believe. I remembered something strange. Master doesn't let me say much. I'm not sure if this is important. This morning I noticed that the crane hook was not stationed at its usual position. Where is the crane hook usually positioned? It's supposed to be between furnace 1 and furnace 2. <clears throat> but when I got there this morning I saw the crane hook stationed in front of the furnace 2. Is it possible that someone used the crane hook during work hours? Not likely, no one would move the crane hook if we weren't casting ingots. I suspect that someone used the crane hook last night. That's right. Thank you, Will. This really helps. Okay, I think we need to look for murder weapon.
There's no murder weapon. This isn't peak iron. There are rubber blocks piled underneath here large quantity of rubber is there a need for rubber in the process of steel making not at all these rubber blocks belong to deputy administrator Lee there just temporarily stacked here these are scraps someone processed rubber blocks here From over here it looks really dirty and it's all covered in rust. Only worker in the charging area could make their clothes this dirty. I don't know whom this clothes belongs to. I'm sure this uniform is discarded today. I would just clean this place up with Dan and the others last night before we got off to work. Worth recording. File screwdriver saw a wrench, a lot of tools placed on top of his chest. In this chest. Wait, what? Existing evidence. Hold it right there, Detective Shen. You can't go through this elevator leads to the second floor. The conveyor door is locked. Even if you went up, you'd have to come back down. Alright. Oh, the factory floor is already quite arid. Why is there a tarpaulin covering the iron? Tink instructed us to do so. He was afraid the bulk material and the iron would be mixed up. Cool. There are still a few questions I would like to ask. We went to the office either and nothing happened. Between last night and this morning, have you noticed anything unusual? Have you heard any strange noises? Were you working at the second floor all night? Yeah, yeah, sometimes I take break, but I never left, not even for a second. He spent the whole night on the second floor and found nothing unusual that conflicts with the crane, right? Movements of the crane hook are exceedingly noisy if you weren't really here all night. How could 
you have not known that someone used a crane hook last night? Well, unless you were the person who moved the crane hook. It wasn't me. Last night I did in fact leave the second floor furnace area. Where did you go? I stepped up past midnight. I was very hungry and I went to the dock to have a midnight snack. Who's looking after the furnace? Furnace could be unattended for an hour after materials are shoveled in. Cool, patrolman cool can prove it. Whenever I'm on duty we go to the dock together around that time. I swear I'm not lying. Trust your words for now. Is there anything else that you're hiding you are hiding from us? Um no, Cole, have you ever opened the conveyor door after the incident? Well, that's... if you keep fumbling it, just increase our suspicions. After the incident, I did open the conveyor door without permission. Fire was so intense, it's only natural that I fear death. Why did you keep this as a secret later? There are rules of operations. I didn't have the guts to stay, but I was also afraid I would lose my job. We don't intend to cause you trouble. Did you lock the conveyor door? La at a later time? Yes, it's embarrassing to admit. Are the only person who holds the key to the conveyor door? I'm the only person on the factory floor that has the keys. Is there anything you wanted to know? You can try asking me. When the incident occurred, were you in this warehouse? Did you see anyone go elevator? I was in front in the office. Warehouse usually locked. Does anyone stand guard? Cole claims that whenever he's on duty, he goes to the dock with you to eat midnight snacks. You know about that already? It was the same case last night. Just taking a little break. If there's anything you wanna know. No, man. Seriously, I'm lost. Concentrated nitric acid was kicked. This gunpowder smell when it evaporates it produces white smoke. Is the, if that is the case, then we'll feel ill because he inhaled acid. It's close by, he probably inhaled a lot. They are afraid of ghosts, don't know chemistry.
disappearing railing. Once I saw those rubber blocks, I understood everything. The pungent grayish white powder we found was the residue from the burning rubber. I mean to say that the murderer had set up rubber rod there as a railing. Rubber have seen. The past is soft and capable of supporting the weight of a person. What we found in the warehouse was not just ordinary rubber, but vulcanized hard rubber. At ambient temperature it can sustain persons weight and won't easily be deformed. But once the outlet shutter is opened and the temperature close by rises rapidly causing thing to topple over. It appears the murderer is very familiar with what is stored inside the warehouse. Apparently worshipping the shrine behind closed, closed door was just a cover. Thing was actually conducting some kind of a chemical experiment in secret. There's a laboratory in the factory. Why didn't he just go there? Obviously he did not, did not want anyone to know. He must have had a reason. Cole had opened the conveyor door, so the suspect probably left through it. Splashes of molten steel make it impossible to pass through the stairs in front. For a long time after the incident, the conveyor door was the only way to leave the second floor. I understand now, there are only three possibilities. Murder was call, someone call covered up, or someone left the scene after call. That's good deduction. Doesn't this mean that is the person who didn't arrive immediately after the incident the most suspicious? That is true, even that person is not Cole, he would be someone who is quite familiar with Cole. That is why he could predict Cole's behavior and use it to his advantage to carry out the plan. In the event that Foreman Tink was murdered, what the assailant's motive? Tink is really unpopular, nobody likes him. It feels like everyone has a motive. Wow, we already did all the investigations. It's time to ask the beauty administrator to gather everyone. I have confession, I don't know who's the suspect, I mean, who's the murderer. I can confirm that the death of Tink was the result of a murder. Furnace area where Tink's falling incident occurred was actually the secondary crime scene. Murderer used a mechanism to make Tink jump into Ladle. Stag staging a suicide. Presumed disappearing railing was actually fake railing that was made from rubber. We found a batch of hard rubber blocks in the warehouse as well as traces of processing them. This kind of vulcanized rubber won't easily deform at room temperature but when molten steel flows rubber, rubber will gradually soften due to burning heat. A softened rubber railing would be able to sustain any way at all. Things falling triggered an explosion, burning out the rubber railing. The grayish white powder we found was the residue from the burning of rubber. Those rubber blocks belong to Hainyang Arsenal and are stored here temporarily. 
who knew that it would be used by someone with ulterior motives. This proves that the murderer knows the warehouse inventory like the back of their head. hand. After the incident, Cole could not withstand the heat and opened the conveyor door. So all the murdered had to do was to take the elevator after Cole left to make their gateway. The murderer was on the second floor the entire time, how come Cole never noticed him? That is because they were able to find perfect hiding spot. The murderer must have hit in this location. either this or this area, well this area oh man hiding spot of the murder her I don't know about here man it would be bad if we lose at this point I don't recall okay, we could try this okay this is a, sh a sheet of tarpaulin at the time the murderer hid underneath as long it along with the body furnace charger would have found them once he went to shovel materials <coughs> oh takes eight hours to burn a furnace of steel iron is required at the beginning after that only subsidiary materials are needed no need for me to go back after i've shoveled the iron Based on what Detective Shen said, wouldn't it be easier to say that Ko was the murderer? That's true, he's the only person on the second floor, it would be easy for him to hide the body. It wasn't me, that's just like putting a kanku on innocent man, I've been wronged. You know this is more than anyone else, it really wasn't me. Considering this piece of evidence, I believe that Ko was not the murderer. Ah, oh, man. Maybe this, but... I'm not sure why. This un new uniform stained in rust was discarded by someone and left in the warehouse. Only the chest and knees areas were stained extensively with rust. And rust only appears on the heap of steel scrap. Oh man. Next level. It suggests the wearer were lying on his front in the iron heap. If Cole was the murderer, there was no need for him to hide in the iron heap. His job is there anyway, and it's not unusual to be stained. Instead, a person who doesn't usually wear a uniform is more likely to do so, which means the murderer most likely isn't worker yet he's familiar with the inventory in the warehouse and the still making process being able to forge a suicide note should also be taken into consideration 
Of course. The murderer not only can write, but also capable of imitating others' handwriting. It appears that Shen has come to a conclusion. Please identify the murderer as soon as possible. Okay, definitely not her. She knows nothing. Oh, come on. So this must be either Robin, no, Mr. Robinson, doesn't make sense because he barely speaks English, okay, Chinese, definitely not this guy. Okay, they were watching this. Can't be them. So, on the one hand, I thought it will be this guy, but he threw away the uniform, so he, but he could have just covered it up with the jacket. There's nothing that would imply that that woman is culprit. We already established that David didn't commit suicide. Mr. Robinson, he is a suspect, is the same with Robin. I don't believe this guy is a suspect because he was helpful. This guy also, well, we were trying to make him innocent, right? Okay, let's... Patrolman's job allows you to know everything like the back of your hand. What item is placed where, who will appear at what time, as well as the rumors. No one knows better than the patrolman. If there's a misconception about me. After the incident this morning, I've been patrolling the ironworks. Everyone can prove this. Although, this person is quite annoying, he does have a point there. Okay, so... I have no idea. Okay, not this guy, because he didn't kill himself. Not this guy, because we tried it. I don't believe... There's any proof pointing in her direction. They both have alibi. It means that this might be either Edgar, Samuel, Mr. Robinson. Oh, he's not in the room.
then I really don't know. Maybe no. Can't be Colton. Can't be them. Someone maybe. It's you, Mr. Ha. Especially meets to all the conditions, especially the one about imitating handwriting. Oh man. I believe that Detective Shen is probably mistaken. If Ting was murdered, the murderer had to drag his body to the second floor. I'm just a feeble man, so it would have been impossible for me to do so. That would not be so difficult as long as you used this for support. After charging materials into the furnace, Cole usually takes a break from work for one hour. You knew about Cole's habit, so you took advantage of Cole's absence. Initiated the crane hook, then transported the corpse to the second floor furnace area. If Detective Shen thinks that I'm the murderer, then fine. Go on and regard me as the murderer. Samuel, I entrusted him to investigate this case. It's his duty to report suspicious people. If you have any objections, it would be best that you prove your innocence. You do not, do not need to ask Hoch to prove his innocence, Mr. Lee. Since I suspect him naturally, I will provide evidence to prove it. Gentlemen should not be humiliated, there's no need for hypocrisy, detective. In that case, would Mr. Ho be willing to have a debate with me? True gold does not fear fire, I shall not succumb to your injustice. I ask the reason I got you as the prime suspect is because the most consistent with the features of the murder. Read the books. A system of logic that actions the book. All the features of the murder summarized before. If you insist, I do indeed fit requirements. However, that doesn't mean that I must be the murderer, does it? Silray is very sturdy. that everything is clear now. What? What I said was the prime suspect, not the murderer. A man with features of the murderer is not necessarily the murderer. But the murderer must be among those who meet such features. All people who meet these features are all suspect of being murder. Blurring words suspect and murder. One who is misleading. So called deduction is all speculation. That uniform can prove that a murder took place. Iron hip. Versus supposition. Why would the murderer need to hit it? Uh, why the. Haven't you realized, man, that there is Shan? That you're trying to make a meaningless circle argument.
Okay. Well, yeah, of course, bloodstains confirms the murder. Such reagent really exists. Right, little Frank. Those could be traces from a long time ago. Uh, bloody name badge board. The board of name badges can prove. Yeah. Ah oh, man, I think we lost it. I wasn't expecting the debate. Present without any evidence, why would we give you time? Such huge cost. Well, ah, uh, I was. I lowered my guard. Let's go through it quickly again. Alright, we just need to go to the debate. Why? Features of the murder summarized before. I thought it was a good guess with the. What I said was the prime suspect, man with features, not necessarily the murderer. This right primary scene Okay long time ago Symbol on the floor, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna... No. Failed again. This 
plus a, a decoy. Man, I bought a decoy. So the switched blueprints. But I thought that blueprints can be switched too. The same as it could be switched the uh, name tags. Oh yeah, because the photograph. That's the ironclad. Oh, man. What assumption that little Frankie reagent is actually able to detect blood stains? Studied chemistry. I have also read countless foreign books. I have seen a number of Florence's dyes. Never heard of blood detection reagent. It's possible that it's just a street trick like changing the color of water or something. Okay, this is some. Um, uh, scientific gibberish detection of blood is actually the detection of iron even the tiniest amount of iron can be detected Generally, still in guts and iron will not give false positives, but trust our iron regions will. If it used to conduct experiments in the office, even resulted in an explosion. It's so possible that some reagent containing iron was splashed at that time. It could be possible, but the pattern of the blood stain. What's there to say about the pattern? It's hard for detective chance that actually convinced me. Samuel also has a certain truth to his words. Your Honor, I'm a, in my humble opinion, all of the detectives' deductions are just here mere assumptions. That matter shall never be handled carelessly. It would be inappropriate to act without undue haste. insist that the murder didn't take place and Mr. Lee seems like he's almost convinced now. What should we do? We need to think of another way to prove it. No corpse, no blood stains. What else is there to prove? Murder weapon. Once a murder weapon is identified we can prove that this was a homicide. How can we find the murder weapon in such a short time? Suspect is so cunning that he must have already destroyed the murder weapon. Alright, all contact leaves traces. The evidence is not non-existent but instead undiscovered. All objects and all images settle in different locations sequentially.
This figure actually looks quite familiar. Something that could leave such a large blood stain should be the murder weapon light, right? It is clear to me now the murder weapon was Maybe this again? Not this, not this, not this. Office desk, it says. Oh, maybe coins? Not the coins, uh, just coins, but maybe bag of the coins. Is it possible? So here's the proof. Okay, quite elaborate murder. Oh yeah, he did put the money into the head cloth. it was to dispose of the murder weapon his behavior alone is enough to show that you are the murderer all right we got this okay the third case was much uh, more difficult and uh, longer than the first one The only way to nail him down is to find direct evidence that proves Ho was involved. What kind of evidence could it be? How about I help you? Man, he's like the devil. I view the whole case and figure out which part of the murders 
plan would leave traces. The office he murdered Ting with a bag of coins, then carefully cleaned up the crime scene. What do I have to do? Should I put the coins here? I, I don't know what I need to do now. Is he the only person who could kill someone with a money bag? further. Okay, when Cole was away he used the crane hook to move the body to the second floor. Alright. Okay. Shaved rubber. Sucked up the rubber rating before working hours. This was a completely hit with the iron. Oh man. Casting began, he used the ladder to create instant and hit in the right corridor. <coughs> Maybe this. Man, I'm terrible. Everything leaves traces. know about that it was the fake railing I'm not gonna make it this is too hard I don't understand What kind of evidence should I use to prove it? There's traces. This might be anyone's. Maybe this. Alright. Alright guys, I think I streamed for too long and I don't think well enough right now. 
I need to finish up, but I thought it's right there. It's, it's a good game. Alright. A big bag of coins, but carefully cleaned up the crime scene. He used the crane. Good leaf traces. Okay, I didn't understand the what was needed from me. the crane hook okay so we just need to connect the scene with the no I'm not it is definitely the thing that could have leave traces if he put the body on a hook come on Oh. I don't know. Oh, there are apparent traces there. All right, anyway. Must have worn that uniform.
Use the elevator. But that half was stained with other traces. Another part of his plan. Uh. Right, guys. It's too much for me right now. My. I'm too exhausted from all the thinking. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna stop for now. I will make small stream to cover up to cover this thing uh, sorry I, I need to work tomorrow so I'm I have to go ah, it feels bad to leave at this moment hope you understand anyway thank you everyone for checking up the stream and uh, I'll be back Hopefully tomorrow.